G'day guys, we've got a genuine US military MRE today and this one was very kindly sent in by a subscriber from Austria called Philip you would have seen the unboxing video now I've been super excited about getting into this one because it's a menu I haven't tried yet menu 2, beef shredded and barbecue sauce and another reason is that it's extremely new it's the 27th day of 2014, so yeah, it's in MRE terms, it's practically brand new. You can see now they've started putting the, uh, the French translation on the packs as well, so we'll see that in future, future MREs. This one was packaged by Sapatco, and uh, unfortunately, it, it caught the attention of the MPI or Ministry for Primary Industries, or Customs if you like and they decided to have a nosy they didn't uh, use the peelable seal it was cut in <laughs> so hopefully they haven't got too nosy we'll see the extent of their uh, their viewing okay okay it looks uh, it's okay so far see. Alright, for starters we have pretzels. Interesting, I haven't had pretzels in one of these before. I've had pretzel, uh, what are they like? They call them um, combos, which are quite hardy. These actually feel like normal pretzels and therefore <laughs> feel smashed a bit. We'll find out. Got Tortillas. Great. Well, this is interesting. Smoked almonds. Huh. These are these are vacuum packed. Never seen those before either. Never had them. Um, almonds, vegetable oil. Hmm. Don't even know what that was. Mm. I'm usually used to scorched almonds, you know, covered in chocolate. Uh, so no, you know, I haven't really eaten almonds. But I'm assuming these are going to be a uh, you know, savoury, or smoked flavour. That'll be interesting. Cheese spread with jalapenos. The best kind of cheese spread. Feels quite, um, feels quite soft actually, quite, uh, quite pliable. Almost like uh, the the jam or the jelly. It's interesting to see how runny that is. Beverage-based powder in the little short packs. Shredded beef and barbecue sauce is our entree. And uh, hmm. Okay, well, I was going to say they've taken it out of the box, but this is uh, one of the new ones and they just seem to come in these pouches. You may put them in the pouches anyway when you heat them up. But it does come with a side and the side is in a old school box. Black beans and a seasoned sauce. And you can tell potentially this is what the MPI are interested in because they've had a look in there and hopefully they haven't dug into the actual pack. A normal US flameless ration heater. With G Schultz peeking through there. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. It's great. This is actually, uh, as I'm going through this, I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. We've got the tortillas, the shredded beef, the, uh, the beans. Hmm. Hot beverage bag, a brown MRE spoon, and let's check out the uh, accessory pack. Okay, and here we've got the coffee, or well, instant coffee, and uh, yeah, plain packaging these days. Uh, it seems the new ones have gone away from the uh, commercially packaged 
uh, little sachets like you'd see in, in hotels and motels and whatnot. Saving a few cents there. MRE toilet paper. Non dairy creamer. Moist towelette. Chiclets gum. Salt. And Splendor sweetener. Well, I'd have to say this is one of the more comprehensive MREs that I've seen in a while. You know, we've got not only the shredded beef and barbecue sauce, we've got extra barbecue sauce to go with it. Uh, but we've got the side of black beans in the season sauce as well. And I think that's going to all nicely mix in, including the cheese spread with jalapenos, because remembering. Uh, we don't actually have any crackers here, that's uh, something I just realised. But all of that's going to go together, the black beans, the shredded beef, barbecue sauce, cheese spread with jalapenos, and make, I think, one heck of a nice tortilla or uh, sandwich out of it. And as far as the snacks are concerned, you know, we've got the pretzels and the smoked almonds. Drinks. We've got the hot coffee and the cold beverage base can't complain at all with this one getting hungrier by the minute now I'm feeling a bit adventurous this time seeing as the uh, flameless ration heater we've got is so new it, I think it would be a shame not to put it to the test so what I'm going to do is go for heating up this shredded beef the black beans cheese and the coffee. <laughs> we'll see where that gets us. So we're trying to uh, work in this amount of stuff. Packaging is going to be uh, fairly important. First of all we'll just get our coffee in the bag. Along with creamer, well, most of it in the bag, some of it on the uh, table, <laughs> and the splendor. Sweetener. There we go. Open uh, six ounces of water up to that line. That's near enough. Just try to get as much air as possible. Seal it back up. Hold over. Get your shake on. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, first things first, we'll just see if we've had any collateral damage here. Seem to be okay. Got a good squeeze, no cuts. Alright, looks like we're in action with the beef, with the black beans and seasoned sauce. Alright, so what to go into the flameless ration heater? I'm gonna go with the coffee. And the entree. It's always tricky with the um, hot beverage bags, putting them in here. Now, let's think about this. Yeah, 
I'm actually going to go for you know, two resort pouches in here. Lined up, and I think we'll, we'll go for the, the hot beverage bag and the cheese spread actually on the, the outside. So, first of all, I'll put in water to those fill lines and try and get it down the middle there. The pouches. Okay, it's slightly over, but doesn't matter too much. Oh, okay, it's uh, steaming away already. I'll just lay it flat for a bit. It's amazing how much better these things work when they're new. Swish it around, just try and get all those pads wet. Oh yeah, see the uh, steam. I'm going to try and stuff it back into this pouch. I'm also going to try and stuff it in with the coffee. Try and pull that down. Just a bit of the water from the uh, FRH itself. Escaping there. It's not the uh, not the most glamorous thing to have done to it. Oh. <laughs> Elegant. So we'll slip that in. So we've got the coffee on one side of it, and we'll slip the cheese spread in on the other side. So amongst this mess, hopefully we'll get some heat. But we'll leave it against the you know what for about 15 minutes to find out. So while we wait for the rest of that stuff to heat up, let's check out what else we've got. Well, first up, we'll start with the cold drink. That's our orange beverage based powder, and that just needs half a canteen cup or 12 ounces of water. about to us. Okay, funky orange colour. Give it a stir. I've been uh, itching to find out what these smoked almonds are like, so here we go. They're vacuum sealed, so... Oof, okay. Oh, there's a notch here. No, no substitute for the good old crackers, eh? And here we go. Almonds, there's definitely some coating on them. Smell. Okay, there's not too much of a strong smell, they just smell like, uh, they smell like almonds. We use our drink compartment for these. Check out what the damage has been to these pretzels. <laughs> Feels pretty considerable. The uh, oxygen absorber. Oh, hey! <laughs> All right. Well, not quite so bad. I was expecting. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm no expert on pretzels, I suppose. I was expecting the uh, curly whirly, you know, folded into shape type uh, pretzels. They're the pretzels I I know. But instead, we got these sticks, and they have fed. Very well. Nice. 
tortilla time. Smells good. Well, MRE, MRE bread products, they always have a, a kind of distinct smell to them, so, you know, if, um, oxygen absorber, don't want that. Uh, if you were to buy the two or tears in a, a shop, supermarket, and bring them home and have a good smell of them, mm, you probably think there was something a little bit up with them. Um, but, um, you know, these, these are super fresh in MRE terms. Uh, usually what you find is because they've been folded over, they get this split and they just break in half essentially. But these, these feel real soft and pliable. Pretty uh, luxurious really, <laughs> from what we're used to. Alright, so our components have had uh, about 15 minutes to heat up in the FRH. Uh, just to recap, we've got the shredded beef in here, we've got the bean side, uh, the coffee and the cheese spread. This is going to be a real test. Okay, first up the coffee is uh, probably say just over lukewarm. Uh, not completely tragic. Is our black beans and seasoned sauce? Yeah, that's uh, let's see. You know, as always with these things, some parts are hotter than others. I give it a, a bit of a smush around, and it's a good test with these FRHs. Is if you can't hold on to it, then it's probably just about hot enough. <laughs> But no, we're in no danger of, of that here. And this is our shredded beef and barbecue sauce. And it's about the same temp, uh, a little bit hotter than the black beans and sauce. Finally, our cheese spread. Which if it wasn't runny enough before, will certainly be now. That's actually quite, um, it's actually quite cold. <laughs> it looks like our FRH has decided to uh, have another blast, which is a shame just as we take everything out of it. But if you've wondered what these things look like after they're uh, done, well, this one's still going, what happens is that these little powder that you normally see uh, sliding around actually turns quite solid. Ouch, that's still very hot. And uh, when it's done completely, it's it's almost kind of like a solid melted together uh, mass. There's still quite a bit of heat in there. So as I'm yabbering away. Probably be good <laughs> to do that. So I'll clean up a few things here and give that another uh, sneaky minute or two. Alright, time to munch guys. First up we'll get that coffee out. Uh, more like a iced coffee but at this stage, but what are you gonna do? And we'll put all the stuff separate to begin with just so we can get a, a good look at it. This one has the notches along the long edge, so you can eat it straight from the pack. And shredded barbecue beef. Mmm. Looks good. Oh wow, okay, that smells that smells pretty incredible. Massive uh, barbecue flavour coming off flavour. Massive barbecue smell coming off. I guess I'm just skipping ahead to where I want to be, and that's tasting. Oh boy. I think, in terms of smell, 
This has to be, for me, the best MRE so far, smell wise. So we've got this thick gravy with the uh, shredded beef, you know, you're not really going to see too much in the way of chunks in there. And that's pretty much, pretty much it, you've got the, the gravy and the beef. So we'll have a look at the black beans in the seasoned sauce. You guys are getting the same vibes that I am. But we're, it seems like we're onto a winner. Mmm, it smells good too. Um, it tastes fairly similar to the usual beans you get in MREs, like the chili beans and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, smell wise, it's quite, quite subtle. Not too much going on there, but I think we'll find out where all that seasoning's at. We we'll actually try it. Black beans and seasoned sauce. Ingredients look fairly similar to uh, our friend over the side here, in that uh, you know it's pretty honest. You've got the, the you know the beans, and you've got the sauce. <laughs> That's it. Uh, you know tomato-based sauce, tomato puree-based base sauce for both, but it's uh, it's keeping it consistent. And who could forget our cheese spread here. We'll just whip a corner off. Well, I have a feeling this one's going to be quite runny. I'm just going to put a little bit onto this tortilla. Yeah, it's interesting. It's uh, it has gone a little, a little odd there. Still smells good. I've said it uh, a lot of times before that you get uh, cheese spreads looking wildly different, yet they all seem to, uh, to end up tasting fine. So let's whip around, let's see what we've got. There we go, our orange beverage base. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I quite. I think I've put a little bit more than 12 ounces of water in there, and that actually um, it tastes really good. I think I normally make it quite strong, so a little bit watered down, just quite subtle, but your normal powdered orange drink. So instant coffee. That's nice, but it's pretty cold. <laughs> Our smoked almonds. Hmm. They're actually really nice. Uh, they basically just taste like salted almonds. It's hard to pick the uh, the uh, smoky uh, smokiness of it, but it's you know in my mind it's nice knowing that there's some aspect of smoke there. Um, really tasty. Pretty neat addition to uh, you know an MRE, and it's nice to see they went to the trouble. I mean you've got a fairly small uh, serving size here, and you know a bit of a process to go through with a vacuum sealer. But I don't know. It, it perhaps it seems that as well, as you'd expect, I guess. Um, as time goes by, things evolve. As does uh, MREs. Let's keep going bit, better and better. Uh, pretzel sticks. Oh, they're good. What I I usually don't like too much about pretzels is uh, they're usually caked and uh, salt and these actually taste you know, there's, you know there's still crystals of salt on there but yeah it's a, it's a pretty good balance for me okay here we go shredded beef oh wow <laughs> That is so good. Uh, the beef's obviously shredded, but the flavours in here. There's a smokiness, the the real barbecue um, type deal going on. So uh, really impressed with that. Black beans, seasoned sauce. Mmm, 
really good too. They do taste very similar, they really go well together. Um, the flavourings and the sauces are very, very similar. So you could probably take the beef out of here, put it in this sauce, you know, vice versa, and you wouldn't have too much of a, um, you know, too much of a problem. <laughs> it's great. So, we do give us some extra barbecue sauce too. So it'll be rude not to use it. What we'll do is pop a bit down here, a bit in here, see what that does to it. Mm. It really just amplifies the barbecue flavour that it, that's already going on in here. It takes it to the next level, adds a bit of sweetness to it. Uh, brilliant. I'd probably be inclined to actually mix the barbecue sauce through the whole thing. It's that's that good. And I feel it's going to do the same to the beans. And it does, yeah. So, I think it's time we make some kind of... Um, Burrito-y... <laughs> I told you it was runny. It's just a little bit weird. Never mind. Okay, get some of our... Actually, we'll put some sauce on separately. Beans. And barbecue sauce. Here we go. <laughs> We've got cheese escaping. Looks pretty good though. Mmm. Mm. Okay, through the magic of editing. <laughs> Gone. That's how good it was. Loved it. And I've got a feeling the boss is going to love it too. So that has been menu number two. Beef shredded and barbecue sauce. One of the newer ones. And I've got to say, it ranks right up there for me. If you get the opportunity to try this one, go for it. Brilliant. Uh, thanks once again, Philip for uh, providing us with this experience and sending it over. Uh, it's fantastic. Let's see what the boss thinks. Thanks, Philip. You want Daddy to make you a burrito? Yes. Alrighty. Absolutely, madame. Want some cheese? Yep. Okay, I think we'll, we'll squeeze off another corner here. Didn't quite get the... There we go. Cheese. Yes. Barbecue sauce, madame? Yep. Alright, you are. That's tomato sauce. It's barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. You know what this is? No. Beef. Barbecue beef. What do you think? Does it smell good? Yep. Want some beans? Yes, please. Okay, good manners, good girl. All right. So, yes. should we fold it up? Yep. All right. Now this is not going to be the easiest thing to eat in the world. Can you hold on to it like Daddy is, and hold it over the plate, honey? What do you think? Yummy. <laughs> do you want to do you want to pause for a minute and have something? Uh, try the pretzels. Okay. Mm. Um. Yeah. 
smoked almonds. Mm. You got some drink to wash it down, honey, too. You got the orange. <laughs> what? Have a drink. <sighs> Good. So, what do you think of the CMRE? Yummy. Is it one of the best ones? Ten seconds, Philip. Thanks for watching. Bye. Wow! Austria is so nice! Austria! This is a nice country you have, Philip. Thanks. Bye.